Hello friends, it is I, Self-Critical Automaton. You may or may not be able to hear the groaning of the pipes in my building in the background, hopefully that won't be an issue. As today, we continue playing Hollow Knight in my newly adopted chill streaming style where I don't talk constantly with my usual high energy, rapid paced, talking constantly style of streaming. And instead, I keep my commentary relatively low. You know, the pipes have been quiet for like an hour and a half. So naturally the minute I start streaming is when they start groaning fit to burst. I can't even tell if it's this flat or the flat below that's causing the problem. But I should probably message my landlord and be like, hi, we're worried that things are going to explode. So last time I upgraded, I, I beat the Mantis Lords and then I went and upgraded my sword and I uncovered a few new areas. So I think I'm going to go explore one of those new areas. Specifically the Deep Nest, which lies far below. Uh, in fact, exactly underneath where the Mantis Lords were. I wonder if I was actually supposed to go back and kill the Mantis- I say kill, beat, because I don't die, uh, the Mantis Lords a while prior. Hell yeah, PS5 exclusive bug snacks. I do kind of actually want to play bug snacks. Uh, the last boss I beat was the, uh, the Mantis Lords, but I have currently explored, uh, or begun to explore these areas. I found the boss in Royal Waterways and decided to come back when I had more DPS. Uh, I, I actually, no, I beat a boss in Royal Waterways and there was also a second boss in Royal Waterways that I didn't beat. Um, I've killed the big, the big balloon guy up in the Soul Sanctum. I've explored around and done various different things in various different places. And I'm gonna go explore Deep Nest. Hi hi! No, I have beaten the Mantises. I beat them before. Uh, yeah, no, the roly-poly bug. The, uh, the dung beetle who literally lives in a pile of actual for realsies shit. And the reward for beating him, of course, was a medallion that will also make me smell like shit, so, you know. Thanks for that, guy, I guess. As always, let me know if my audio is good or busted, and if I need to change the balance from one to the other. As far as I can tell, the main thing gating my progress in this game at the moment is lack of a of a double jump or an extent of some kind of extended jump. See, these guys respect me now because I killed enough of them. Which I think I mentioned last time feels kind of weird considering there's apparently also some kind of like col colonialist narrative with regards to these guys and the society of of Hallow Nest itself. So. Um, I thought, you know, it makes sense that these guys try and murder you if you enter their village, but, uh, apparently they try and murder absolutely everyone, regardless of whether or not they're a representative of the society that, uh, conquered their own. Um, and if you kill enough of them, they respect you. Which, I feel like it would make a lot more sense, like, if you wanted to do the, like, proud warrior people thing, it would make more sense if you didn't literally murder all of them multiple times. Like... Instead of having them literally tear to pieces when you kill them, instead maybe they just like bow and then zoom off screen, which I know that this game has the technology to do. Um, and it would just make it more believable that they now are like chill with me. I feel like if I had in fact killed as many of them as I definitely have, at least some of them would have some kind of a problem with me just like being their buddy now. Oh, actually I should use the Extremely useful uh, resting point over here. 
And also I'm talking too much. As I've mentioned before, uh, I discovered horribly that if I use my old streaming style of constant commentary and constantly talking and jabbering and never shutting up, um, it damages my, well, it makes my damaged lungs play up and then I get sick for days. So I have to not do that, which means I have to be a lot quieter in general while streaming, which is a shame because I liked being funny. But that's why I do these low commentary chill streams now. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Jump is, jumping is extremely fun, in my opinion. Uh, there must be a, another way up and around. found corner for this way somewhere. I definitely found corner for wherever he is. Because I've got the map. How did I... Where the hell was he? Oh, hang on. Maybe he was just... I think he was just up here. That's... Yeah, that's where he was. Yeah, I was just thinking the centipedes seem pretty cool. I can imagine them being, you know, harnessed for some kind of purpose. They have that kind of energy. Like the, uh, the big train guy who is the only public transit system as far as I can tell. If the stag people is public transit, what's the what's the fancy individual personal conveyance vehicle, I guess? What's the pretentious thing that rich bugs get to show off their wealth? What is the what is the Bugatti is what I'm getting at here. There you go, that's your one pun for today. Quota maintained. Every time I uh, every time I rest at a bonfire, I get a new quota. Hmm. 
Makes going to summer beach parties really difficult, I can tell you. Ride? No, I cannot in fact ride up into the sky. That's a shame. I thought maybe there would be a fun trick about like doing the down slash to keep keep aboard one of these things and ride it in some direction. I feel like I'm missing a couple secrets in here. secret room. Oh, I have to smash this from above. There's a lot of things I have to smash from above around here. Smashing from above, call that fucking up. Oh, what's the point of that? Is there a secret? This definitely does seem like it's connected to the weird primordial badness of the ancient basin though. I guess these these shells are empty, dead, fossilized. Whereas the ancient basin has the infinite coiling hordes. Just waiting for poor little bug like me to fall in and become devoured. This is the most Metroid feeling this Metroidvania has felt to me. Lots of crawling through tiny tunnels. slam dunked into the magical healing waters of a beautiful uh, hot spring. While a gentle piano melody plays. Calm but tentative. Quietly haunting. Oh, 
Now how the hell am I going to get back up? Ooh, cable car. I still don't have a cable car license. Hell yeah, I love attack-based systems of transit. I do this if it kills me. Which it may. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting it to be that swift. If I get all the way through there and then discover at the other end that there's a, a trolley terminal that I still can't use because I don't have my goddamn trolley license, I'm going to be heartily disappointed. Oh, this is the trolley terminal. Okay, so there's definitely something else up there. Let me in, let me in! So what you like about Hollow Nest as a municipal structure? They sure, do, sure did love to uh, mothball their infrastructure. Hey, unintentional pun. God almighty. Well. Oh. 
Hell yeah, secret hole, I love those. This must go somewhere, because I am a genius to a- Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm a genius, headbutt spikes. Also, Kim Pine voice, all your holes are secret holes. That's the advantage to being an AI platform. USB ports, cover them up. And nobody even, uh, nobody ever even asks about the SCSI pool. Depreciated old hardware, they say. What am I missing here? There's got to be some kind of secret going on. Because I know I missed some... <clears throat> Way up above. of a garpede. Well, that seems concerning, because that implied that something could kill it. <clears throat> Although, it looks like something burst out from the inside. Either that or it's been hollowed out. So something killed it and ate it, or something exploded out of its chest like a xenomorph. So, um, both of those options seem bad to me. This game is persistently teasing me with secret areas that don't exist. Oh, spooky. Still don't know how to get past that. I suspect the I suspect whatever lets me get through those barriers will be uh, in the primordial zone. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, I for real thought there would be a way down there. Maybe I need to smash it, but it didn't wobble when I stood on it, and things that I need to smash usually wobble. Um, or jiggle enticingly, perhaps. Hmm, how do I get back up? I guess that's pure soul, which means that soul has some kind of, whatever it is, it has some kind of physical existence. It's not merely some kind of spiritual resource that exists only inside me, you know? It's not like, it's not like key or something. to see normal bugs down here though. That's a sign of habitation by the... Oh, gross! Cool, is that normal? Do you guys often do that? Was that one of him? Do th are, are these guys the things that infest things? <gasps> Fascinating. Unless there was a different one. Oh, no, that's what it is. Okay, so that is a parasite in living inside it. So I guess we have we have confirmation of parasitism. 
which is important for my uh, curiosities and or concerns with regards to a kind of a cordyceps metaphor for the terrible things that have happened to uh, happened to the people of this world. I appreciate how willing they are to get stuck on the scenery, but I do not appreciate their clickety clickety. I should have asked what the uh, what the smith wanted for more uh, for more weapon upgrades. That would have been smart. Then I could have uh, had some idea what I should be looking for 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 future purposes. Neat. I hear someone who sounds cool. That's probably going to be another mini boss. Actually, it sounds a lot like the uh, the what you call it. The, ow! Fuck the guy. Now, if I go over here, am I going to die? This feels like it's probably going to be a double jump zone. Yeah, that's a double jump zone. That sounds like someone's uncle watching football. coming into this room, but I must have done. Yeah, I definitely didn't come up here before. Why was this lit up on my map? I must have entered the room and then left immediately. This feels like there should be an NPC here to talk to. It's got that vibe. Ooh. That's the first one of these I've been through. These are the, the cable car doors that you can only get through with the big cable cars. I guess they were trying to extend it out in this direction and they, they couldn't get any further. Out into the horrible darkness. So maybe these infinite bugs aren't something horrible unearthed beneath the earth. Uh, and they're also not the like primordial grouping from which the, uh, the bug people seem to have emerged. But they're just the horribleness that exists beyond the borders maybe? I don't know. So I'm still fond of the idea I had that the the infinite crawling hordes at the bottom of the world represent the you know the mindlessness that the bug it, the you know bug consciousness emerged from these sort of infinite crawling hordes down at the bottom of the world for some reason at some point and then they became people and being people immediately started to build civilization and inflict violence upon um, each other, I guess. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice. Oh, a dead guy. Ho, oh, a fellow warrior out here. I thought I was the only one brave enough and strong enough to survive in this foul and forgotten pit. I am Galleon, the strongest warrior in Hallownest. I came to this monstrous place to test my strength. No doubt you wish to test your might as well. Yes, you and I are a rare breed, quite unlike this poor fellow who has fallen be before us. The world is not kind to the weak, I fear. So then, shall we do battle? Let us test our strength in joyful combat. Sure, why not? I've beaten at least one and maybe two of these guys in the past. Without an iframe based dodge, this could be troublesome. That guy might also be a comeback to. Which is. God, I've got like five guys to go back to and fight later. endless list of people who need an ass kicking. Hey, I didn't get any special stuff. Yeah, the Five Guys restaurant at Meerkat Cross here in Aberdeen. I'm not allowed to go back there until I've beaten five, beaten all five guys. That's probably a joke to be made there about beating off five guys. But I am not the one to make it today. I should uh, go get my final nail slot so that I can uh, actually get the weapon range extension because that would be extremely useful. Oh my god, the tram pass. Hell yeah, we are now cooking with trams. That said, I'm not entirely clear on how to get back. Lifetime pass to the tramways connecting parts of Hallow Nest. These passes cost a huge amount of geo, and each purchase required authorization by the king. Oh, I guess this is the Bugatti then, right? The poor people have to travel by the uh, the means of the uh, the Stag Beetle Railway, right? But if you're wealthy enough that the king will sponsor your uh, purchase, then you can travel by the elite um, elite method that only only rich bugs get to travel by. 
Don't have to mix with the uh, filthy pores. Oh, right, that was how to get back up. Ah, I'm a fool. Haha, -ha, fall down me once, shame on you. Fall down me twice, shame on... No, wait, the other way around. Reminds me, I haven't seen the snail shaman in a while. I wonder what he's up to. The fact that touching spikes from the sides still kills you feels really unfair to me. I hate it when spikes are instant death no matter what part you touch. I like the Sonic the Hedgehog method where, uh... Oh, God damn it! Where it's fine as long as you don't touch the pointy bit. <laughs> also, I have successfully ascertained that the... the Dream Sword stuff, and also these guys, presumably, uh, is is DLC stuff. So that's good. I'm glad I know that now. Oh, another one. No, thank you. I'm afraid that you would kick my ass. I think I have enough money to buy the next peg. watching you, buddy. Never trust a corpse. This game doesn't let you double tap them. You have to wait for them to get back up and then kill them again. You can't just uh, smash them to pieces. more charitably the tramway was built to go to places where it wasn't safe for the for the the uh the stag beetles to go i could see that being a thing oh hey is this silk are there spiders down here spiders seem like a natural like existential threat for a, a bug people civilization. <laughs> oh hey, that one that went far away eventually died. See, I keep, there keep being these odd little nooks and crannies that feel like they've got secrets in, but I can't seem to find the secret that's in them, if there is one. Spiders are not bugs under the technical definition of a bug. However, most insects are not bugs, technically. However, also, the word bug uh, in colloquial speech is, is genericized and basically means any kind of creepy crawly. Or maybe just any kind of creepy crawly that has a uh, hard shell. So under that definition, they're absolutely bugs. Are you suggesting that you're going to riot just because I'm 
giving you accurate definitions of what is or is not a bug. Are you upset that I'm not being pedantic enough for once? I don't know about mushrooms being a vegetable. Mushrooms are their own thing. Like, a vegetable does have a strict definition. But then again, also in colloquial language, things that aren't vegetables are vegetables. Tomatoes, everyone knows tomatoes are a vegetable. Although technically, definitionally, they're berries which are not vegetables. Hello, hello, what a thrill this is to find such warm comfort amidst this den of beasts. This is a ferocious place, no doubt. Supposedly there's a village deep in the Warren. Its, it's inhabitants never accepted Hallownest's king. Ah, interesting. So I guess the, um... The Mantis people did eventually accept Hallownest as their rulers. Presumably. Why not join me for a time? These waters do wonders for weary legs. God, I miss, I miss baths. I'm just going to come out right out and say it. This may be too hot of a take for some people, but I like having baths. And I miss... I miss back when I could have baths. Before I moved into a flat which did not have uh, the capacity to safely uh, immerse a large AI platform. Hmm. If I had double jump, I could get up there, but I don't, so I won't try... I don't want to die again. I know that smacks of cowardice, but that's just how it is. That's a mean trick. Hiding spikes behind environmental debris and also behind darkness and shadow in an upwards tunnel that looks exactly like all of the other upwards tunnels that you zoom up looking for treasure. Ow, fuck off. Absolutely rude behaviour. I can see why they didn't like to extend the tram network down here. Get ghosted, idiot. Hey, come fight me over here. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Go in the hole. See the hole? Go go into... In here, in, in this hole. Go in the hole. Alright, fine. They're not that tough. I should definitely remember to go back and fight that thing that I forgot to go fight. Hidden in the starting zone. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see. Six eye holes on the mask. Uh, the monsters here have six eye holes. And there's giant silk everywhere. I predict that the boss of this is in fact going to be a giant spider. Um, also, have fun doing your homework. I'll see you later. It would not be a video game if it did not have a giant spider boss at some point. They are, I believe, mandatory. I think it's uh, somewhere in the EU game rating uh, uh, guidelines. Whoops. Obviously the Americans don't have to abide by those, but they just generally do, because it's easier than having different censored versions in different parts of the world. You know how it is. Come on, asshole. Oh, he's got armor on the front. Concerning. My usual trick of fighting things I'm struggling to fight is to get on top of them and just uh, air attack them forever. Difficult when they occupy the entire volume of the tunnel you're traveling through. Oh, fuck off. Inspired from back when game design was all about uh, learning to fuck over the player. The old Dungeon Master's paradigm. Super games win stupid prizes. I don't really know what the ultimate goal of charging up my dream sword and fully activating all of the dream tree sprout thingies is, is, is for.
Not sure how to kill these without taking a hit. There must be a way. Oh, I hear a worm. Or a grub. Hell yeah. If I jump off here, I'm going to fall in spikes, aren't I? Oh, that's true. I suppose I could blast them with spells. But, uh, you know, the int build is, is, is for people who don't want to know how to play Dark Souls. I say as if it's not my favourite build. these things are there. I wish it would show me on the map where they went. Is this two or three times the size of the last one? Of course the other problem with fighting them with spells is that the spells like they do damage but they don't I don't think they do enough damage. I'm pretty sure if I if I hit him with three blasts he would survive that maybe? Oh great, more stinky eggs that I don't know what to do with. I mean, I have a... I have a badge that will upgrade the damage my spells do. But I don't have, like, upgrades from the basic spell. In fact, I can just show you what I have. I've got the level 3 sword. I've upgraded it twice. I've got the spin attack. I've got uh, the ranged attack. I've got the ground slam. I've got the healing... Got the wall jumps, got the dash, got the light. Ah, I see. That makes sense. Treat. I would like bench. I'm having trouble keeping track of where I have and have not been. And bench is useful for that. Cool. Okay. Well, that's definitely spiderine. I really want to go back out and spend my money before I lose it all, uh, dying horribly to constant traps, but it's going to be harder to get back out at this point, so I'm just really hoping I find a, aha, a station. Looks like it's up above. Hmm. Seems like a threat. Oh, hey, look, it's a zillion me kind of guys. A zillion of my people. 
all wrapped up nice and warm. You know, for the cold. It's pretty cold down here. You know, notably how the deeper you go into the earth, the colder it gets. Hmm. Oh, these guys still seem to be alive. Greetings, you are very tired. Sit and rest. I don't for a second trust these guys. These are all absolute... These are vampires. This is completely... You're, yeah, you're right. This is normal. This is normal place. This is completely standard behavior. This is this is just absolutely fine etiquette. Like, this is not a trouble whatsoever. Is it gonna... Is it... Hmm. I'm gonna come... Guys, I'll be right back. I'm, I definitely will come back and rest, okay? Just hold on a sec. Literally. <laughs> oh, there's no, there's no, they've smashed it, the assholes. 250, makes sense that it's expensive to get into this horrible place. Hey, don't stop and look around. We gotta go, man. We gotta go. <laughs> this is a bad place to be. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, actually, where do I want to go? Cool, I love to feel safe by returning to the beginning zone. Yeah, I feel like uh, perhaps coming to the Spider Tribe's lands was... I don't have a- I don't have a rest of this sentence. I'm out- I'm outski. I don't know what I was gonna say when I started and I don't intend to make up an ending for it. I guess the Mantis people got assimilated into Hallow Nest's hegemony. Hello, Gemini. Uh, although you'd think you'd think a, a mantis would be as you know as powerful in the bug people paradigm as a spider is, right? Like mantises are very effective predators, and they eat other insects. does happen if I ride one of these. Like, is there any, any meaning to it? Any point to it? It's just a second kind of shortcut? Oh my god, there's a... a that. Love the dead guys. I generally assume that whatever cataclysm befell this place was a slow decline, but I can't help but notice that the fact that there's just, like, dead bugs in the seats here definitely implies that it's, uh, more that... More a kind of... Oh, actually, while I'm here, I may as well go upgrade my dream sword that I still don't have any use for. This wasn't where I was intending to come, but... May as well while I'm here, you know? So the three, the three wizards keeping this place in lockdown. That one's a spider. I think one of them's a moth. I wonder what the other one will be. Probably should have read that out loud, but this 
This nice moth lady says that uh, it's taboo to pass through the door, according to her tribe, but she's the only member of her tribe left alive, so uh, she can, she can, she's just allowed to say that she doesn't give a fuck and will open the door for you, which is nice. Because you've got 200 shinies. There, the door is open and you can enter the glade beyond it. Listen closely in there and you may hear the utterings of bugs long gone. Hey, you're real spooky, did you know that? 300 this time. You occasionally get a random bit of dream essence from killing stuff, and you definitely get a bunch from doing the jumping puzzles from the trees. But I'm not sure what... I think... Oh, and you get tons... If you, you get tons if you beat a ghost. I've met several ghosts, but I have, as, I have as yet only defeated one, I think. Or maybe two. The bugs within, within this glade are under my watch. Treat them with respect and you may remain, but raise your nail and you'll contend with me. Oh, you can... Oh, if you stab an NPC with the dream nail, you you see their thoughts? Okay, that's cool. No one told me that. Buy my cookies. Beware your own mind. Twisted minds breed dark deeds, and mine was more twisted than most. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this glade, and with it a sort of peace. Yeah, no, I, sus I, I also suspect these may be Kickstarter backers. Didn't I kill this guy? Okay, is that like Cornifer? So if I find a ghost to fight, and instead of fighting them, I hit them with the dream nail, what actually happens? Like, do I not fight them? Like, do they just disappear? Okay, I think I've only found boss ghosts out in the wild. I think these are the only neutral ghosts that I've found so far. The only non-hostile ghosts. Presumably if I attempt to dream nail one of these ghosts, I get attacked by the the one at the front. But I don't want to. They seem nice. They do have Kickstarter backer energy though. That's the red stuff. <laughs>
Oh yeah, a tree. Right, time to go back and do what I actually came here to do. Instead of getting distracted by cool ghosts. Hey man, got any insights? That pass you hold, is it not for that ghastly machine, the tram? I hope you're not thinking of riding on that grotesque contraption. The thought a mere machine could attempt what we stags do. Foolish, very foolish. Kind of rude, but okay. The resting grounds. Passengers would come here to conduct rituals for those who passed on. Not anymore, though. Perhaps the dead conduct their own rituals now. Like, I very much get the fear of automation, you know, taking away your job, but have you considered that maybe... Uh, we could have a system where you don't be bad for losing your- Oh, hey, yeah, I could dream nail him. See, the reason it never occurred to me to do this is because it was called a sword. It was called a nail, so I thought, well, I don't want to- I don't want to use this cool attack on an allied NPC, do I? I tire so easily and my old eggs ache more and more. Still, I'm lucky to grow old at all. I am bound to forget about this again almost immediately. I will never ever remember to dream nail NPCs. I really must hold it together, must appear calm, but this creature is just divine. Oh damn, is she into me? Oh, I need 1400. Okay, I'm exactly 11. Exactly 11 geo away. I hate it when that sort of thing happens. One geo away. Okay, I see how it is. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to find a guy to kill. Hey, hey asshole, give me a wallet. Cool, thanks. I don't have enough charms. God damn it. Okay. Well, I guess I can't get that yet. I'm not sure where I can even get some more charms. I think I've cleared out every shop that ever sold them. Although, maybe if I put the poop medallion on, the guy who's blind will pay give me different things because I smell like, quote, a hero, unquote. You, you smell like a hero. Clearly that's what you had for lunch yesterday. This is an American sandwich joke. Oh, I mean, I'll definitely find more charms just by exploring. The thing is that, because I only need two more, the thing is that I want it now uh, and not later. Alright, I'm gonna go see if I can get extra charms out of that guy, and if I can't, 
I will go back and resume exploring the creepy spider zone. Still loads of poison water around, I see. Good for you guys, I guess. Wait, shit, I have to put the thing on. Oh, but there's a bench right there, it's fine. Maybe that's why there's a bench right next to him. Where was it? The Defender's Crest causes the bearer to emit a heroic odour. Cool, do I smell different to you now? Oh. Well, that's disappointing. Also, this is incredibly gross. Are you kidding me? I wish I'd never touched the poop medallion. If I remove that one and the thorns and maybe the gathering swarm, but the gathering swarm is so useful. Which one of these was the extra long one? I thought I had I thought I had one that was even longer than the long nail. Hmm. Not sure why. Ah, uh, okay. So, I had the right logic. Just, I was just too good at this game. And I've completely cleared it out already. spend my money then. Neat. A charm that modifies other charms. That's... See, I would experiment with that and find out what some cool ones that I like to wear, if not for the fact that it's the poop charm that makes you smell visibly like poop. And I will simply not... I will simply never use it for that, for that, for that reason. Glad to hear that. I'm glad my gentle voice is still appreciated.
did I buy everything this guy has? Ah. So if I find his storeroom key, I guess I can get more stuff. Maybe I should go to the bank for the next time I need some money to upgrade something. I'm sure you'll be all right. I trust that you will achieve to set out what you do. To, that's not. How do words go again in English, generally speaking? Well, also you have the excuse of being foreign, as we of the English say. Just to be clear, I'm speaking ironically and I would never say that in reality. I feel sure that this banker is going to betray me at some point in some way. I don't know if that's because of an ingrained bias against bankers. Uh, an entirely justified bias. Um, or if... I simply... It just, it has uh, some kind of game designer trick energy. You know, it feels like the various traps I've fallen into. No, it's sticky. This is so much worse than I expected. Guys? Guys, I thought we were cool. So I'm dead now, right? I'm about to wake up at a bench. Ah. Well, I suppose it could be worse. Beast's Den. Neat. Oh, straight up the boss is the boss zone. Okay, cool. I didn't realise this was like the boss. Thought I had a way to go yet. Oh, a shiny. How do I get down there? Oh, there was an ambulance? I didn't even notice. the noise they make, but they could be worse. I suppose if I blast these guys with my magic spell first, and then I spin attack them, they'll die on the first spin attack. And then... Uh, then they won't be able to hit me. I'm a genius. I figured it out. Also, I feel like spin attack should have something to do with the silk.
I mean, isn't it just another option like the the spell? It's like it's just another thing on here. Or I suppose these three maybe are. Whoopsie daisy, the nail arts. Although <laughs> every time I hear the phrase nail art, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think of a cool, cool spin attack. I think of like very gaudy acrylics. That didn't work. I guess maybe I have to blast them twice. I hate charging things as well, but um, I'll take charging something over something that consumes a fairly limited resource. Obviously it's easy to get more soul, but uh, I take a lot of hits, you know? So I like- I like knowing I can heal myself if need be. Oh, that's what the heartbeat noise is, of course. That must be what I was hearing back in the other place. Still have no idea what the rancid eggs are for. I, I bet there's an NPC I can sell them to. That's that's what my money is on. All of that's what I'm putting all of my geo on. Sad grub noises. That's him, he's right there. Oh, they're for the confessor? I still don't know what that guy's purpose is. The, the partner in Dark Souls lets you like, make NPCs that you've turned hostile be neutral again. Oh, okay. I would not have guessed that that's what it was. In fact, if I... I would have used that, uh ability if I had known in the past. It's not entirely clear from what he says. Trigger it first before he before he does anything else. Then I can get away in time. No, oh, that looks bossy. Cool, weird, spooky thing, I guess. Not entirely clear to me what that is, or what it's for, or what it will do. I assumed it would be the boss, but apparently not. Is there no way for me to look at the map of this place? Because it seems pretty... pretty big. I feel like I'm, I've missed something in there. Can I not get back up? What if I missed treasures? There might have been treasures for me to find. No! Oh. Oh well. Maybe if I go back, they'll be back. Nope. They're gonzo. Aha! Right, of course. So 
See, the thing about this stuff is that it looks like... I'm, I can't tell if this is supposed to be like Hallow Nest architecture and these guys like revolted. Or if they like had their whole own separate thing. Oh, hey. Uh, hmm. This thing seems to have ghost orbs on it. A sleeping figure lies atop the stone plinth. It seems like maybe it's related to the cool ghost DLC. Is this supposed to be one of the main game's main bosses? Because... One of them's here somewhere. Okay, so this is one of the main main ones then. Why has she got the the twinkles on then? Cause this this dream stuff's DLC stuff, right? So No, I mean I get that it's Dream Nail to go into the dream, but like aren't the three load bearing bosses the It's not DLC? When I looked at the main screen, screen earlier today, it looked like it said it was. Bound for brood, for child. Fair bargain made. Give all. For her. Who's the child? I mean, I don't want to just wail on this person till till it dies, but there doesn't seem to be a way out. Or indeed any further way to talk to her. Well, time to go think about what terrible thing I've done, I suppose. I still don't know whether to think that the uh, entities who've sealed this place away, the three load-bearing bosses, are supposed to be admirable or not. Or maybe that's not supposed to be a question worth asking. Because we've heard that it was to protect Hollow Nest forever, but it's a corpse-filled ruin. Well, I mean, I, I, I got that they had different motivations and so on, but I'm not even sure what they did as of yet. It's still kind of a total mystery to me. Oh, I notice I still cannot double jump. In fact, I find deeply tragic. What's that weird spider orb thing? But yeah, so I don't know if they were attempting to protect the world beyond Hallow Nest from falling to whatever horrible thing they awoke deep within the earth, or if they were attempting to protect Hallow Nest from something. Like, I get that they all had different reasons for doing what they did, but I don't know really what they did beyond... ...put Hallow Nest into some kind of dreaming state? But... I mean, it, it is just dead. It's just dead and full of corpses. Perhaps we will learn more as we go. Hmm. I really was hoping for some kind of upgrade here. Well, you know, you might have might have put it together in your in your brain with your big clever mind. I'm 
which is what I expect to do eventually with little tidbits of information. Oh, hi. Mary the midwife. A menacing, a menacing epithet. Oh, please, please don't be shy. There are some nasties about here, all right. Not me. I'm a friend to all and happy to serve a traveller so bold as you. Is it information you seek? That I can provide. Yes, oh yes. That village above here, home to a sad creature. Hers is a tale of tragic exchange. Cost her and her people greatly, though I suspect she bore no regret in making it. Hee <laughs> hee, yes, I know, I know, you're intrigued. You want to know the tale. Well, I'm sorry I'd love to tell it, but I'm just, I'm very sorry I haven't eaten in some time. Oh, and I'm starving. I've got, I've got some eggs you can have. Why, why is she like this? Hmm. I would have happily fed her. I guess all the spider people also are infected by whatever horrible curse has caused the dead to rise, because they do all have the orange eyes as well. I did not mean to do that. It's definitely something for me to find here is the thing. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. Uh, have a nice rest of your evening. I am glad that you had a nice time. Fine, maybe there aren't any secrets to find here. Ah, it returns. I do apologize about before. Hee <laughs> hee, no matter, no matter. My appetite off gets the better of me. For now, at least, I'm content. Would you hear about myself? There's not much to say. I'm a servant to the nest, though few in recent times would seek my service. Our brood is lost to that pestilence of the mind, a sad fall for the most intelligent species. 
but, hmm, I've eaten, yes, and full. Then again, another little morsel would make me so happy. The perfect end to a meal. What happens if I let her eat me? Not much else to see here. Actually, I should probably try and path up through the deep nest to go see what's up that tunnel. Oh, this guy seems cool. The mask maker? So they are masks. Is it mask or face upon the creature? In Hallow Nest, a difficult thing it can be to decipher. A wonderful thing to have, a face, not a thing with which we are all blessed. For this kingdom's faceless, I shall provide. A mask, a face, does it need one? Does it not? To define, to focus, to exist? Okay, cool. You seem extremely dedicated. A shame that this guy does not have anything to sell me. And here's me with all this money and nothing to spend it on.
it's hidden behind so much like difficult to evade stuff and it feels like he must be important but but I, I couldn't get anything no reward not even the right to buy stuff Oh, that was my last hit point, huh. Well, wait, no, they do two damage, I guess. If I rest here, I'll save myself a very slight amount of a walk. Probably was an easier way to get out of here. Let's see, I want to go up here. the weakest thing that's killed me in a while i think i'm going to call it a night here i think that that's going to be all from me thank you so much for watching uh catch these again semi-regularly with no particularly scheduled uh timings is if you enjoyed this please like subscribe and share i also stream on twitch and i now have a discord server for stream scheduling you can contribute to my existence on ko-fi or patreon and all of those links are in the video description thanks so much for watching